Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering War 5 of Season 46. And today we are against PBT. I've got the same team with me as last war. Um, they're in Path 6 into Path 8. And this is probably the cleanest war that you'll see from me this season. Things just happen to go very well. And yeah, I just kind of played things a lot more safe. didn't go for anything I didn't really need to go for which is very uncharacteristic of me but anyway so first up there's more I'm literally just gonna try and get this down with combos I'm not even gonna bother trying to go for the special three literally just heavy counter a special one uh, keep some of the staggers up for uh, to get rid of those physical resistance and yeah he's down simple fight with titania really Next up is Kitty, I made a big mistake in this fight, so when you finish the same combo, or when you finish a combo with the same attack you did with the last one, so two mediums, get that guaranteed crit, guaranteed crit gives Kitty prowess. And I'll be honest, because I knew Shocker couldn't crit, I didn't think it would interact that way, but it did, and I hit into phase. Or she gained enough prowess to phase. Which was weird, but it's not an issue really, it's just a couple of potions. It didn't cause the fight to get out of hand, so I'm not too worried. Anyway, next up, this long shot with Titania. Nothing to this at all, as long as I don't push him to special 2. Unless I'm literally just going for a special 3 nuke, which I was planning on doing. So I'm going to keep trying and hitting him with just light attacks to keep on putting non-damaging debuffs on so that he doesn't get too much karma. Because if he gets karma, he goes into pure of heart. If he goes into pure of heart and throws a special two, I'm probably dead. So what I do here, I activate my haymaker and just go for special three, just go to nuke and finish it off. I'm not even going to go for the heavy attacks, I don't think. I think I just run in and go for combos. Yep. And I'm not going to count that as a moron because that was intended. Next up, this Hulkling that I've taken probably about 500 odd times. This season alone, never even mind the previous seasons. Literally nothing more to this fight than there was in the last ones. Get a couple of those negative zones up. And yeah, we're chilling. I don't think I'm taking it next war though. Which is going to be a breath of fresh air. Just because it seems it's getting a little bit boring doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So, literally just need to get to another special two now. Go for a risky stand-up intercept there, but it paid off. Don't even necessarily need to go for the special two here because the striker and everything else just finished it off for me. Just making sure I got the right ones here. And this is probably the highlight of this war, this one fight. This rank three Sauron on a uh, burden of might. Last war, I didn't do a very good job of this. This war, I did a very good job of this. So, combo and special one, intercept to get the torn up. Gonna try and bait, or not even bait, like come back, if need be, block a special one. If not, combo up to special two, throw it. And I know that this at 95 charges will kill. So again, not gonna add a moron, 500k. This guy has 300 something k health. That was way overkill. Not giving myself more of pushing him red because that was the plan all along. Just nuke it. Same with this one. Uh, we had a guy in disconnect and also KO to this, so it was down to one attack bonus. And he was pretty short on items, so I just said I'd clear it up. Because Shocker is shock immune, and I definitely knew that I was able to wait out the bleed phase and it not really mean anything. 
one mistake I did kind of make is that I used my special one when I didn't need to. And yeah, from there, special one, special two would kill a full health APOC there. So I'm going to bear that in mind for next time I see that there. I'm probably going to be taking that myself. And then last up, this Adam that I fought every war, pretty much. Well, what feels like every war. Because everyone places him here for some reason. Like he's a difficult fight. But yeah, again, just like last time, literally nothing that special about this. Just get three negative zones up and try and keep him up to keep his power gain under control. Then one more special two should just finish him off. Yeah, maybe not even a special two. I could have gone for... Oh, I went for a little bit of a risk there with an extra heavy, but I knew he was under a bar of power, so it wouldn't have meant anything. Literally one more combo into heavy, special two, and he's done. Now, we did end up losing this war 12 to 17. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.